Hello, it's your menopause trainer. <laughs> menopause Barbie here, your menopause tailor, helping you train in the gym, whatever all that means. Thank you for coming. This is an exercise video, another exercise video. I'm still helping you manage your menopause your way, and one of the critical components of your menopause management is exercise. So let's get to it. We're at Quality Life Fitness again. I love these videos like this. I love to balance with you. And you know, it's fun to learn new exercises. And if you're doing these, I'm sure that you already are getting better and better and better and better. So the last time we had a video like this, we used the BOSU, both sides up. It was this blue thing. And we're using it again today. And what this does for us is it gives us the element of instability. So using this on its flat side and standing on the dome side makes it so that there's kind of this instability. You're not on flat ground. And what we're going to do today is work on balance because that's one of the things we need the most. We are menopausal women. We cannot afford to fall and break our hip. And so working on our balance helps us prevent falling. So today we're going to do BOSUs, but we're going to do something else with it. And what I like is I like to combine my elements of exercise. I like to, you know, do some weights, but also some balance, both at the same time. So. Today we're going to do that, but we are going to use bands. Now bands, there's all kinds of bands, and they're these stretchy things, and they come in all shapes and sizes, all kinds of colors, all kinds of tensile strengths, and what makes it great is that you can find a band for just about anything you want to do. <laughs> so what we're going to do is play with the band on the BOSU. So when it comes to these bands, there's always going to be many different levels of complexity. So your job is to find the level that challenges you but isn't going to hurt you. And so we all are going to work at different levels and find what works best for us in terms of, of exercise but also staying safe and, and not hurting ourselves. So let's say we want to do a bicep curl with a band. Well, in order to do a bicep curl with a band, you need to plant the band somewhere and put something on top of it. And in this case, I'm going to put my feet on top of it because when I put my feet on top of the BOSU, it allows me then to use the band for a bicep curl. So when I step on the band and then pull on the band, I can do a bicep curl. And I can use one arm at a time or I can do both arms at the same time. And boy, do you feel it. I mean, this is called resistance training. I am resisting my muscles against the band. The muscle, my muscles have to overcome the resistance of the band. And that is great exercise. Now, if you want to make it a little harder and add the element of balance, take one foot out and just step on the band with one foot. And then what you do is the very same thing. You lift one leg up so that you're standing on one leg, and you can then do your bicep curl one arm at a time or both arms together. And it's harder because you have to balance at the same time that you're doing your bicep curl. Now, the next level is to do it on the BOSU. If I do it on the BOSU with two feet, I put the band on top of the BOSU, I step up onto the BOSU and put both feet on top of the band. That stabilizes the band. And then I can do my bicep curls, both arms at the same time, or I can do them one at a time. But I have to balance on the BOSU, it's harder because the resistance that the band offers makes me have to pull, and because I'm on an unstable surface, I have to stabilize the side that isn't pulling. Now let's make it even more complicated. Let's do it with one foot. Whenever you do these things with one foot, 
be sure you put your foot in the very middle of the BOSU, right on the bullseye. And be sure your band is symmetric, because if you're not symmetric, you're really fighting yourself, and that's not the goal. The goal is to fight the resistance of the band and to balance. So here I have my foot in the middle of the BOSU, and I have it on top of this band. And if I stand up on the BOSU, and then I lift my leg up, I can then do my bicep curls standing on the BOSU with the band. And if I want to make it even more difficult, I can then do it with a leg extension. Or you might want to just extend your leg and leave it extended and see if you can balance like that. You can find a level that is challenging for you, but not too difficult for you. And that's the goal with these exercises. So now with our bands, you can do another exercise. How about a shoulder press? I'm switching bands because with the shoulder press, one band isn't long enough to raise over my head. My arms are long. <laughs> so I'm going to use two bands. Now, I've put the bands on the BOSU crisscrossing so that I can put my foot or feet on both bands. Now, you know you can do this on the floor, right? I'm just showing it, to, uh, showing it to you on the BOSU because it's sort of the last step in the series of complexity here. OK, if I do it with two feet, I put both feet on the BOSU. I take the bands in my hand, and I can do a shoulder press. That's pretty hard. And I can really feel my muscles working to stretch this band. Now, if I want a bigger challenge, I do the very same thing, but I put my foot in the middle of the BOSU on top of that bullseye and on top of the bands. If I do that, I step up. Take time to prepare for these moves, OK? Take time. Don't hastily do anything. Here we go. And just a shoulder press. And if you want more of a challenge, you can always extend your knee at the same time. If you hear any noise, it's because we're in a gym. <laughs> You're going to hear noise in a gym. There's people in this gym. They're making noise. <laughs> OK, what else can we do with these fun bands? Well, you know, I try all sorts of things. How about a row? Now, here's a different kind of band. This one is smaller. It's a circular band, and it has these things on it that are Velcro that you can put around your ankles. I suppose you can put them around your wrists. But you can also leave them as they are and just use this padded Velcro band as something to hold on to when you pull on the band. I like them because they don't hurt my arthritic hands when I pull on them. If I did this without these pads, it would hurt. So let's take this. And let's twist it so that when you put your foot on it, your foot will stabilize it better in this configuration than it will in this configuration. OK? So if I twist it and then I place this on the bullseye, the cross of this band is right on top of the middle of the BOSU. And then I'm going to put my foot on top of the band. And my goal here is to do a row. Well, this band doesn't stretch much. This row is going to be a bent over row. So if I come up here and stretch my leg out, and then just row. Great exercise. Now, if you're not at that level, remember, 
You can do the very same thing on the floor. Put this on the floor, put it underneath your foot, and just see if you can raise one leg and do a row. And if you're not ready to do that, I mean, just try to, just try to do the bent over posture and hold it. This is a great exercise. If you can't do this, don't try the other stuff. Make sure you go up stepwise with everything you do. Try the move without any band, without anything in your arms, and then try to do the row on the floor, and then try it on the BOSU. And it may take you months to go from one to the next stage. That's okay. Take your time, do it at your own pace. This is all about you. This is about tailoring your exercise to your needs. I'm your menopause tailor, I'm your exercise tailor, <laughs> and your job is to do it your way. I'm just showing you some new moves that can be kind of fun and different and that won't be injure, you won't injure yourself doing these, okay? So try things. It's kind of fun to try different things. Now, that is called a bent over row. What if we want to do a standing row, a row where we're not bent over? This one is kind of complicated. I made this one up. I made them all up, okay? So in order to do a row with this, you have to put this band around something so that you can pull on it. Now, if you've had a piece of equipment, you could pull it, put it around the piece of equipment and pull on it. That would work. I don't have any equipment here. I've got myself and a BOSU, and none of that will work. So I'm going to make my own piece of equipment to be able to do a row. In this case, I'm working on balance, right? Well, one good way to balance is to stand on one leg. So if I stand on one leg and I put this under my foot and I extend my leg, I can do a row. So this is a fantastic exercise and this rowing action is a very, very good way to strengthen the muscles in your arm, your shoulders too. Okay, what if I want to make that really, really difficult? I do it on the BOSU. Same thing, you can only do this one one-footed, right? So, I would stand on the BOSU, I'd take my band in my configuration that's crisscross, and then I'd insert the band underneath my foot, bring my leg up, and I do my row. That's one of my favorites because it's hard. <laughs> anyway, it's something to work toward and the goal is to keep challenging yourself. Now, how about a tricep exercise? Now, these bands have different tensions. So this one is looser and easier to pull on than that red one I just had. And for my arm length, this looser one works better, so I'm going to use the looser band for this. And this is going to be a tricep press. So what I'm going to do is put this behind me, and I'm going to keep the band twisted because it just works better. I can control the band a little better if there's a twist in it. It's all optional. You can do it any way you want. But a tricep press is nothing more than putting one arm behind your back and bringing your other arm up, elbow forward, and raising your lower arm. So all that moves is the arm from the elbow. Your elbow joint is the only thing that moves. This is a tricep press. Well, if you want to add the element of balance to that, do it on one leg. Same move. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, extend your knee at the same time you extend your elbow. And notice that you want to do this in a nice, controlled movement so that both joints move at the same time. And see how slowly I move? This isn't about speed. None of these exercises are about qu how quickly you can do them. They are about doing them with great posture, with good alignment, with good form, and taking your time. 
That's kind of the lesson I'm trying to teach you. Change the kind of exercise you do so that you're doing something that's much more controlled because the goal for you at this age is control and balance. Now, what if we want to do something else? You know, this is really intended for your legs. So let's open these and let's use them on our ankles and let's do something with our arms at the same time. <laughs> I am such a goofball. <laughs> I love playing like this and when people see me playing like this in the gym, guess what? They all want to come play with me. So People like to do this kind of stuff. We have a great time trying to challenge ourselves and see what we can do. So the way you put this on your ankle is you open up the Velcro, you slide this on your ankle, Velcro it so that it's nice and snug, and then you take the other side and you put it on the other ankle. Now, what does that do? Well. Now your feet are bound and look what, look at, you have this, this kind of movement with the elastic around your ankles. This is, this is difficult. Pulling the elastic apart is difficult. Well, I don't want to do just that with my legs. What I want to do is I want to do an arm raise. So I'm going to do this on the bow suit. Now you can do all this on the floor. You could stand on the floor and just do this. You can stand on the floor and use the bands the way I'm about to use them and do an arm raise and a leg raise. Or you can do it on the BOSU, which is what I'm going to do. If you do it on the BOSU, you put one foot in the middle of the BOSU on top of the bands. Put your foot right on top of where the bands cross each other. Then take the long end of the bands on either, either side, step up on the BOSU, and now what you have is you have bands for both arms and the leg, and all you're going to do is raise everything. Raise your leg out to the side, raise your arms out to the side, and try to be slow and steady about it as opposed to yanking or jerking on the band. And say, what if you want to do that same move, but do a forward raise instead of a side raise with your arms? So instead of going out to the sides, let's bring our arms forward. And if your arms go forward, let's have your leg go back, because that's kind of more symmetric. Raise your arms up, put your leg back. Arm up, leg back. Arms up, leg back. You know, you really feel this stuff. It looks simple. It doesn't look like I'm doing much. But you know what? You really feel it. And when you exercise like this, the surprising thing is the movements are small. You only have to do a few of these. And when you're exercising like this, you are tightening every muscle in your body. and you have to concentrate. This isn't the kind of exercise you do thinking about all your errands. So you'll find that after you exercise like this, you're exhausted. You feel, wow, you worked out so hard and your muscles really, really feel it because they've had to stay so tensed in order to do this kind of exercise. So as much as it isn't what you might have expected it to be in terms of fast and pounding and heavy weights, that's not what it's about. But believe me, it gives you a great, great workout and you'll see your body sculpting and you'll see your balance improve in such a short time. Now, I have two more toys for you. <laughs> when I do balance, I like to try different kinds of balance with different kinds of toys just because, well, it's fun. It's just fun. It's what you would do as a kid and I'm a kid. 
I haven't grown up yet. <laughs> okay, here I have a balance board. It's just a rectangular board with a kind of a piece of wood underneath it that's got a curved bottom on the bottom surface of it. So if I put this on the ground, what you're going to see is that it wobbles from side to side. It doesn't wobble at all from front to back. That's the stable part. There's no front to back, but it's side to side. So if I stand on this, and the way you get on it is you put one side down and then put your foot on it, and then you might need someone to stand in front of you and have their arm out for you to hold on to in case you need it for stability, or you might want to be next to a wall. Never, never try these things in a dangerous way. In other words, give yourself some kind of security. <laughs> a wall, another person, something when you first start to make sure you don't hurt yourself just trying to get familiar with your equipment. But if you put your foot on this, lift up on it, and then try to put your other foot on the other side. Now what's going to happen when I put my foot on the other side? Well, the thing's going to walk. It's a seesaw. This is a seesaw. So what's going to happen? I'm going to seesaw. And this, this little board is a seesaw board, and the goal is to avoid the seesaw. So this is what normally is going to happen. You're just going to go back and forth. Well, the goal is to get up in the middle and stay there. The goal is to just stay in the middle and balance and see how long you can do it and, and just, just play with it. And you'll get better and better and better and better at this. And again, this is one of those things where it doesn't look like I'm doing much, but you know what? My whole body is tensing up in order to do this balance. Kind of fun, you know? So this is something that isn't that difficult, but you got to get used to it. It's kind of like snowboarding in some ways. You ever want to be a snowboarder? Here you go. Do it. Do it in the warmth <laughs> of your gym <laughs> or even your home. There you go. So here you have a balance board. Now, I have another balance board for you. Now, I'm going to show you now my current challenge. This is what I am really working on. I can't do it, so don't expect much out of me. <laughs> this is a board that's round, and it has a ball on the, on the bottom of it. It's just a ball with a board on it. It's all one piece, but this thing's hard. And the way this one works is, you put it on the ground, well look at it, it's just going to wobble all around, 360 degrees of wobble. So this one is much harder. Now, if you try this, get on it very carefully, push down on one side, make it stable, and put your other foot on it, and then see if you can get the ball to hold you up without the board touching the floor. The goal is to get the board off of the floor and you don't want it to, sh to touch on any of its 360 degrees of edging. And two feet isn't that difficult. You can get up there and stay. That's not so difficult. Although you wouldn't know it by watching me right now. <laughs> the big difficulty with this one is doing it on one foot, which I'm going to do for you in a minute, or at least attempt to do for you in a minute. There, I've got the two feet down. Now, one foot. I put one foot in the very middle of this board. And then I step up onto the board, and I'm trying to keep the ball centered and keep the board from wobbling. Now, every time you hear the board, that means I've screwed up. But here's my current challenge. I'm trying to be able to balance on this board and do things with my legs, and I haven't gotten very far. Oh, I'm doing it. Well, you guys have given me good luck. I did it, kind of. <laughs> anyway, that's my current challenge. You get to find yours. And wherever you are in these challenges, good for you. Whatever you're doing, that's great. And when you wobble, you've just gotten better. So don't take your wobbling or even falling off as a failure, because every time you do that, you've learned something about balance. And that memory about balance is what will keep you from falling. So remember, this is just doing the challenging things that you did when you were a kid. They served you well then. You didn't fall and hurt yourself when you were a kid. And if you practice them now, you won't fall and hurt yourself when you're not a kid. 
<laughs> or even if you are a kid or you're an old kid. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the gym with me and playing with my bands and my BOSU and my balance boards. Lots of fun. I hope you practice this stuff. If you practice it even just once a week, you will see improvement. So that's it for today. Thank you for coming. I'll see you in a week. And in the meantime, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And make comments on the videos. I love answering your comments. I love interacting with you. And I love doing these videos for you. Take care, guys. Enjoy yourself. Bye. Mm -hmm.